Okay, so another Rhino FSD Tech Talk. Today we thought we'd cover off one of the most commonly asked questions we get here at Rhino, which is about light loading or glazing of your generators. Um, we'll start off with a bit of a description about what glazing actually is. Um, a diesel generator, like all diesel engines, are designed to run at or above 50% of their manufactured load. And um, when they are run lower than 50%, they don't produce enough heat in the bore, which can form excess oil and a lacquer in the bore, which hardens into a ceramic-like substance, which is known as glaze, hence the term glazing. Uh, if this glazing goes unchecked for a period of time, it becomes so hard that it's irremovable and it requires a complete engine rebuild. So it's actually one of the most costly, preventable maintenance issues that you can experience as a generator owner. Best ways to prevent glazing or light loading in generators is firstly to make sure the generator obviously is sized correctly for its application. Rental companies and construction companies in particular sometimes struggle with this. It can be a little bit impractical and often a generator will get sent to a site or a project where it is materially oversized for a period of time. Um, another, another means of ensuring your generators don't suffer long-term damage from light loading is to put a load banking program in place. A load bank is a dummy load um, which is designed to take the generator up to its maximum load for a period of time. And if you do load bank your generators regularly enough, you can remove the symptoms of light loading. So if the glaze in the bore hasn't completely hardened into that ceramic substance, the extra heat generated by the load bank can actually burn that off and pour it out of the exhaust and the machine will be fine. Load banking is an absolutely critical part of any generator fleet owner's regime. You can add three or four years to the life of your generator by making sure that light loading symptoms are detected early and dealt with by way of a load bank. Training your staff to look out for telltale symptoms of light loading is also critical. One of the most common is excess black smoke out of the exhaust. And secondly, um, if a machine's light loaded for long enough, you will start to see a treacle-like substance come out of the exhaust manifold. So hope that was a little bit helpful in helping you understand what glazing is, how you can prevent it, and probably more importantly, how common and costly it can actually be. It's not something you should ignore if you are a generator fleet owner. And as we mentioned earlier, if you do require help in developing a, a load testing regime or a preventative maintenance program for your generators, we, we can be contacted on 1300 415 240 or visit us at rhinofsd.com.